What's up guys, Roddy back again, and we're gonna wrap this month up with a ton of videos going into February with more videos because I'm probably gonna bore you with nothing stuff. <laughs> nothing phone stuff, not nothing. But we're gonna talk about what life has been like for four months, almost five, with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. How am I feeling about it? Well, let's talk about it. Here we go. So, brand new iPhone 15 Pro and titanium. We have a brand new titanium build on this phone. Everybody's following Apple doing it. It's the new thing. It's just is it's whatever. Say they copied it. I say they copied it, but whatever. But guys, let me tell you, it's been a long time since I've really enjoyed an iPhone and not just had to carry one out of necessity. And granted, I do carry one just out of necessity because Again, whether you believe it or not, in the US, iMessage is a thing and you have to just text people that way. It's just how people do it. Um, you can't convert them. You can try. They're not going to use Telegram. They're going to use iMessage. It just is. So whatever. Moving on. Um, but when it comes to design of this phone, Apple did a good job. To me, it's very significant because not just because titanium's lighter and stronger and all these kind of things that they try to say it is, but simply in the fact that it's still flat on the front and the back, but now this this better, more industrial feel is flatter, it's nicer to hold, it doesn't get as ugly and greasy and nasty looking as the stainless steel did because of the side rails, but also it's just ever so rounded. So it's not quite as sharp as it was. It's a lot easier to hold. It's, it's not as much hand fatigue because it is lighter and it doesn't dig into your hand or your palm when you're holding it. And I really, really like it. I'm here for it. I think it looks really, really nice. I really, really enjoyed the design. While it hasn't changed much, small changes make it more comfortable to hold. And I just, I'm really, really here for it. Um, everything still feels premium, still feels like an iPhone, still feels really nice. Uh, what you're really buying with this phone though is performance and we're just going to get right into it. While it doesn't feel like it's a considerable upgrade over my 13 Pro and I didn't get the 14, but it just doesn't feel that much faster. Apps still feel like they open about the same speed as they did before. Everything feels typical iOS smoothness, even though it feels slower than a lot of my Android stuff. Um, it, it works. It, it, it's nothing to complain about. It just, it's just an iPhone and it just, it, it's iOS. It just is what it is. And I'm not a fan of it, but it works. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. I just prefer Android. Moving on from that though, the performance really is what you're buying here. Battery life, super solid. Definitely top three phones when it comes to flagships of having the best battery. Um, I would put iPhone at the top and have say it ties the S23, probably the S24 Ultra. Um, my S23 that I had and this phone neck and neck with how good their battery is, how good their thermals are, um, just their overall performance. They're so close and so similar. There's really no, no denying that both those phones are fantastic. And Apple is just solid in what they do when it comes to how well their phones perform. Um, that being said, the thing that I have noticed is less bugs, um, just a cleaner design, just a cleaner iOS, just a smoother iOS. Really, really prefer it. And the cameras do feel like they are just ever so slightly better. And I can really appreciate that. Um, I would say the phone is starting to feel a little bit more boring. We got the addition of an action button now instead of the 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 uh, mute switch. I kind of hate that, um, but I use it for my camera. I like that. It's really neat. Um, the screen's great, very bright. I mean, there's just really nothing here. But I can say it is for sure one of the best iPhones that I've ever used. It is for sure my favorite iPhone to use. It is for sure the iPhone that I'm going to keep for a few years because I don't upgrade that often. Um, and I really am anxious to see where Apple goes from here because to me, I think they've reached peak iPhone in design and everything else. But this 
this phone really does feel solid. If you are rocking an iPhone 11, 12, even a 13, I would say this is a, a big upgrade over that. And I would even say if you haven't been happy, like a lot of people weren't with the 14, it's worth it to upgrade to this. So yeah, five or six months later, I enjoy the phone. I think it's great. I haven't had any issues out of it. Um, typical iOS stuff that I don't prefer. Those are preference, not that there's anything wrong with them. I just don't prefer them. But overall, I think it's a solid device. I think it is still one of the best phones you can get on the market. If you're thinking of waiting for the new 16 versus this phone, I wouldn't wait. I'd just go ahead and get one of these. I think they're great. I think there's great deals on them. I don't think you can go wrong with it. They fixed the overheating long time ago. I've had zero issues with it. I think it's a great device. It's solid. There's nothing to complain about here. Looks good, feels good, easy to hold, takes great pictures, some of the best videos you can get, and probably one of the smoothest, non-buggiest iOSs I've ever seen. And I'm here for that all day long. So that's gonna do it for me on the iPhone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you wanna know. I'm gonna do some comparisons between this and the Nothing Phone, this and the S23 Ultra, any other phones that I get come out, start doing some more comparisons, day in a life with this, et cetera, et cetera. So let me know what you wanna see and hear about in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you. Next.